Welcome back to another episode of Wedding Day Match. Chelsea here and today, we've got a good one. We're delving into everything you need to know about drone photography for your big day. Technology has given us many wonderful things, innovations never dreamed of. But one we cannot get over is drone photography and the difference it makes in wedding photography. Drone photography is truly something special and adds a great deal of value to the industry. They give us photos that are more iconic and jaw-dropping because of their composition and landscape. Stephanie Ford, FAA certified drone pilot and photographer behind Stephanie Ford Photography suggests. So what is drone photography? Ford explains, it takes photography to another dimension of being able to go vertical, higher than a ladder. It's the ability to take a photo from above, up to 400 feet above, using a drone. But with all that, there's both pros and cons. First, let's cover the advantages. There's the obvious advantage, the height, which gives you the dramatic effect. But Ford says other advantages are the fact that the height can get a different perspective from the subject, creating more of an artistic photo. And the wide lens allows more of the crowd and landscape to be included in the photo. How about the disadvantages? Note that, arguably, they could easily be overcome to give you those shots you're looking for. Ford explains, for one, there's the quality of the photo, which isn't quite as high as that of a photograph from a DSLR camera. But that's not to say this isn't quickly changing. The drone can also be noisy. It sounds like a swarm of bees, so it can be distracting. And battery life can be short, so there is a need to be quick in getting the shot or video footage desired. Lastly, another possible disadvantage could be dealing with weather changes, advisories, or restrictions. As for the noise, there's good news. The noise could be avoided, according to Ford. If possible, flying the drone higher above people will make noise minimal. However, that's not to say she would recommend using the drone above the ceremony unless it can be really high above. This is the part of the wedding day that you want people to be most present and any noise or movement is a distraction. And on the topic of those pesky weather restrictions, there's also some ways around that. Just like with flying in an airplane, weather is a big factor for flying a drone. Rain, fog, and wind all have an effect on drone photography. Ford's advice, though, checking the hourly forecast can help plan when weather will be best for flying a drone. If it's merely raining, then it's best to wait to see if rain will pass and then grab the shot. But with fog and wind, you'll want to be cautious, which is why checking the hourly forecast is your best line of defense. And of course, making sure to understand that you might not get that drone shot. That's because fog affects line of sight, which is important for the pilot. Wind affects the ability to control the flight and it's not recommended to fly in winds above 30 miles per hour, Ford tells us. Now, if you're looking for that traumatic landscape or crowd shot and you simply have to have a drone photographer, we can help. How, you ask? With advice on what you need to ask your potential photographer about the service. Ford suggests you at least ask if they are FAA certified and insured. And of course we agree. Why is FAA certification so important? Ford explains, mostly so they understand the rules that go with flying a drone. Pilots need to understand safety, airspace, and more. A professional drone pilot will also be able to make recommendations on the shot and whether the conditions are ideal to get that shot. They need to consider weather, visibility, and airspace when planning their shot. So you've got those questions done and are feeling drone photography for your wedding. You should now be covered with what to know before committing to it. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Wedding Day Match. And if you did, please give us five stars, leave us a review, and make sure you're subscribed. And thank you so much for tuning in. If you want more fashion, beauty, or planning tips and advice, make sure to go to WeddingDayMatch.com, where we have more expert advice, real wedding stories, and our magazine, Celebrate Weddings. Don't forget to tune in to our next episode next Tuesday. Kisses and talk soon.